Hey, I hear a Harley. I think that's a Harley. Dude, that's him. That's him. <sighs> The following preview showcases exclusive Predator content found at Anxiety War Raw. Become a member for only $5 a month at patreon.com slash anxietywar and you'll be more than satisfied. Hello warriors, check out this nice black shirt. <laughs> the chat log doesn't lie. Oh yeah, you can get this, $17.99, anxietywar.com. Also available in white, as you can see, Skelly modeling behind me. She's just drop dead gorgeous, isn't she? Over my dead body. She's still alive. She's still alive. Ooh. Ouch. Now, there is another version of the shirt that you can get for cheaper. On this version, you can see that there is a misprint right here. It's glitched out. Kind of fits it. From time to time on, the, on this channel, I mean, glitches do happen. Uh, sometimes things don't come out the way they're supposed to. First time I've been here since they put this dick in this jacket. <laughs> So that is why you can get it. It's exactly the same. The same exact thing except for some missing pink slash purple right there. The glitch version. I'm getting rid of them at anxietywear.com for only $9.99 each. A lot of other YouTubers charge $30, $40 a shirt. Not me. Uh-uh. When people ask me if I smoke, that's right. I do smoke. The competition. All right. Anyway. <laughs> so $17.99 or $9.99 if you don't mind a little glitch. I'm used to glitches. I'm a computer programmer. Or was. Lately, I've been too busy talking with guys that want to have sex with me. But, <laughs> like this guy. Let me give you a little bit of background information. You could recognize this guy from a previous video. That is correct. No, wrong video. Now, when I make Predator videos, um, some of them meet up for sex, and some of them just want child porn, but in any case, I make a video about them. This guy tried meeting up, but in the end, he just ghosted me. He just he just left, and I didn't hear anything from him. And I have to be very careful, because sometimes these conversations with Predators last years, and I'm willing to talk to them for years. But sometimes I think that, hey, maybe they won't come back, and I just had a feeling with this guy that he may not come back, but... That's kind of absurd for me to think because I've had other predators where they don't talk to me for months and then they just appear out of nowhere. So there's a balance of, okay, when should I create the video? It's very difficult to judge that because you really have no idea. And I, I started talking with this guy on April 7th and then uh, well, just one day we were planning to meet up and this was at night. We were planning to meet the next day and he said, hey, um, April 16th, I'm getting in the shower. And that was the last I heard from him the next day. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. He just disappeared the day of the meetup. No sign of him whatsoever for months. He expressed a lot of concerns about getting caught. Um, so I, I figured maybe he would be gone forever. It's, a lot of times predators do that. They just vanish, right? But I would still make a video about him. You know, whining child porn. You know, whining to meet up for sex. It's terrible. He should be exposed. Regardless of if he actually met even if they just disappear. So long as I know it's 100% the guy uh, who sent the picture, you know, that I know it's him. So, figuring there's, it's very possible I'll never talk to him again, I put the video on YouTube. I made a video about him a few months later, and I posted it on YouTube. Thankfully, however, the YouTube algorithm was not in my favor that day. The video never went viral, topped out at 59,000 views. I am so thankful for that because most of the times within 24 hours after I post a predator video, the predator knows about it somehow. You know, family, friends, you know, bad news travels fast. And uh, yeah, they're made aware like, hey, well, I saw a video on this. Like, what is this? You're a pervert, etc. Yeah, thankfully, that never happened in this case because the video never went viral. Right after I posted it, he contacted me again, this predator. And if you haven't seen the, the whole video, you can find it on Anxiety War Raw. Um, there's the little preview version is on YouTube. Um, but the whole video is on Anxiety War Raw, the first dealings with this guy, which I, I won't talk too much about. I'll just show you a, highlights of, of, that, of that video right here, right now. When was the last time you got laid? Lick your cat and eat your donkey. I bet both are, are sweet as honey. Ooh. I can be mild or wild, clean, or as dirty as he want me to be. He told me he can't wait for me to sit on his face, and it won't stop till you come at least twice. I believe in being a good person. 
I know that you, that you gotta go, but you said that you had to get away. What about overnight? Wanting to meet and spend the night somewhere overnight uh, after sex. And so like all night he'd have sex with who he thinks to be a minor girl. I think it should work. I think we should make it work. If you don't have nothing going on later, we should meet on April 16th, 2021. Hey, I got a feeling my phone is gonna crash. If you're okay with it, I will leave you my number. So I said, oh, okay, but you know, I, I still have to do a few things today. I'll make time. I just don't know yet. Okay. We are effing crazy. My kind of crazy though. But I said, as long as we are smart, we have to be for both of us. You have the crap hidden? You bet I do. You're already crafty with influence from me. You're gonna be a little outlaw. All I need is a leather jacket. That's no major hurdle. I told him then I would be a bad donkey. I don't know I've ever seen your donkey. He wants to see it. I told him you love it. Bet. Oh no, not this again. Flashbacks from Preston, who totaled my car. I'm gonna get in the shower. So, fast forward July 1st, 2021. The day he contacts me again. Which is also the this, this same day I confronted the painter predator who I had been talking to for a year and a half. The same day. He contacts me. Like, wow, really dude? There's a YouTube video about you. Does he know about that? No, he's hitting me up again. As soon as he contacted me, I privatized the YouTube video. Take no chances. Get rid of the video. Just for the time being. <laughs> Until I would confront him. And how I knew this was really the guy is, he, this time he was using a different account but with his real name. I looked him up on Facebook and sure enough it was him. Now remember, this guy is a felon. He beat up police officers and they took him to jail and he got charged with two felonies. And I find video of him shooting a gun. <laughs> Felons can't have guns. However, I can tell by his stance, I can infer that he's not very experienced with firearms. I mean, look at this. Is it empty? Is it, what, what are you doing? Oh, it's not empty. You're crazy. This is stupid. Yeah, I must, how the fuck, dude? How did I do that? I must have, I must have been doing it like this. Not experienced with guns. Doesn't really know how to operate one like a, like a professional. And to me, das ist wunderbar. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> knock that fucking tree right down. Yeah. So. Not too worried about that. Me thinking, hey, this guy probably doesn't pose as a threat, but he's still bad to the boner. Oh. <laughs> Harley, dude. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun talking about this, dude. Because I had so much fun doing all of this. I love talking with predators, I really do. And absolutely not, that's not creepy. Okay, a little bit. Hi, remember me? We chatted in the spring. My phone was lost, couldn't get my old account because I didn't know my password. I hear this all the time, predators leaving and then saying, sorry, I lost my old phone. <laughs> I don't buy it. I said, dude, we were supposed to meet and then you just bailed. I swear to God, I did not bail. And that was only a couple hours after I confronted the painter predator. <laughs> By the way, it's confirmed. This is not what I thought it was. <laughs> Shorts. <laughs> That's paint. All right. No. Talk to me when you see this. Please, what is there to talk about? My phone got stolen. I could not get back into my account. He just said he lost his phone. So I didn't bail. Did, did it get lost or you get stolen? What are, you, what are you talking about? How are you doing? I didn't reply. Talk about did I didn't do it on purpose? I don't understand. You have someone else? <laughs> because just because I ignored him for a day, he thinks I'm talking with someone else. And then the next day, still haven't haven't replied to him. He sends this. <laughs> I said, "How did your phone get stolen? Because someone's a klepto uh, female dog. What? It ain't really going to matter <laughs> anyway. So I'll just leave you be." I said, "What's klepto? Klepto? It was probably my talk to text st stupid shit. Anyways, I'm pretty effed up right now from my diabetes. What happened?" Just way out of control. I'm super low on data. If you really want to talk, leave me a number. Or if you have Hangout, and then he gave me his email address. Said, what's your number? And this is, we talk like every every other day, or like every few days I would reply to him. 
you know, I was, I, I know how to play hard to get a little bit. So by this point, it's July 17th. I said, what's your number? He gives it to me. <laughs> like a week later, I said, okay. Again, I'm busy talking with other <laughs> predators here. Uh, I need to, I need to be more, um, I don't know. Guys, I, I do, I do a lot of work, but at the same time, it's not enough because there are just so many people I'm talking to and my, my time is I can't spend all the time on just one person when I have like tons of guys waiting in line for me. <laughs> I'm in high demand like these t-shirts and the chat log doesn't lie sticker also available on anxietywear.com for $2.50 free shipping anywhere in the world. July 24th. Hi, what's up? Chilling, how are you? Just so busy lately, I replied. Why so busy? I moved over to the west side. West side is best side. Yes, ma'am. I asked you ever go to El Sombrero, which is a Mexican restaurant over there. Once in a while, how are you? We talked about that area. I like that place in Adobe. Thought you were going to tell me you work in there. Are you working? You said you were so busy, I figured you were working. I said I babysit every once in a while. I've been riding my motorcycle a lot. And remember some old pictures that he sent the last time I dealt with him. You can see him and his Harley right here. Oh, you're just so bad to the boner. You ever deal with people pulling out in front of you? Oh, yeah. People need to pay attention. Shiza, you have no idea. August 1st. I tell him I see crappy drivers all the time. I can't imagine being on a motorcycle. But it's really fun. Want to meet ever? You should. He said, of course, we've already tried doing that. Yep. And then I, I asked him again, what happened to your phone again? What do you mean? <laughs> He's clearly a liar. I said, we were planning to meet, and then he just disappeared. And said you said something happened with your phone? And he didn't say anything until nearly a month later. Now we're in late August. Hi. Holy S-H-I-T. LOL, how are you? After I said, hey. Hit me back. Hey. I said, long time no talk. What's up? I'm back in school. Gotcha. Can you stay and chat with me for more than three seconds? No, I'm, no, I cannot. <laughs> I'm busy. No, we, I said we need to. But how have you been? I'm okay, six feet above. We need to what? I said, yeah, we need to talk more. And I love that response, by the way. You still out riding your Harley? Of course. Why, do you want to go for a ride? I would love to. In fact, I'm a biker myself. Yeah, I ride a bu 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 bike bicycle. No, I have a 1971 Honda, but she needs work. I went to check on it the other day. The raccoons are trying to help me out on it. <laughs> As you can see, this little paw print, how cute. They're letting me know. Zach, take that battery out. Anyway, well then, let's make it happen. Have you ever rode on one? I have not. I've always wanted to. When are you free, I asked. Well, I work second shift. Okay, when is that? Two to ten. I'm playing hooky right now. So, oh, okay. I can't do that no more though. I joined a club. What club? A motorcycle club. Like you know, Hell's Angels, that kind of s ship. He meant the S word. Saturday I will be in a wasso. Said dude, what? You're in a you're in a motorcycle gang? I just joined, so it's like I have to be there every single weekend. But that following week we could <laughs> I might be able to not go. I just think it's so funny. We're talking about a, a felon predator, motorcycle dude in a gang. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this. I told some friends about some older friends I have. Like, dude, I'm talking with a predator who's in a motorcycle gang. And they're like, dude, you need to watch out. Those people will kill you. It's like, dude, I, I saw him shoot a gun. Are you kidding me? <laughs> It'll still kill you. Don't be fooled by that. I said, you're so busy. More than you know. I just started this job. I said, what is it? I'm gonna have to find you a helmet. I already have one, silly. <laughs> a door factory. He works at a door factory. That reminds me of Predator Larry. <laughs> the old man pulling out his excuse book. He worked on doors too. I said, I can go without one. I'm pretty sure a state of Michigan is anyone under 18 has to have a helmet. You want to be a wild child? Doors reference. I never wear one. Doesn't wear protection. That's terrible. I said, freedom over safety is any way I roll. Well, we could possibly go somewhere like in the country where you could get rid of it for a while. Plus... You should have one on in case anyone recognizes you. Good point. Underage girl on the back of an old man's Harley. Imagine if one of my family members or a friend saw that. You know, little 15-year-old me on the back of this this man's, this felon's Harley. <laughs> 
You told me when we first started chatting that you had been with somebody for a while, didn't you? Just a little bit. As in the same situation? How long? And how did you keep it quiet? Or was it just like this, lol? You know, I, I told him, you know, I'm, I'm good at keeping things secret. Uh, he asked me how old he was. Said he was older, he was in his 20s. <laughs> oh, so I'm a senior citizen, lol. Said, no, you're a cool motorcycle gangster. Are you 16 yet? Nope. <laughs> you haven't been hanging out with no one? Just friends. Did you guys go anywhere? I mean, damn, you got to go somewhere on the other side of town. Said, yeah, I go, I go out all the time. I'm talking about when you were with dude. Yeah, we, we'd go places. I, I keep that stuff secret. Your parents don't give a F that you bail all the time? No, not really. I told them I'm not like a baby. You going to be somebody's baby. You're soon, I hope. You know I'm scared to death, right? I wonder if because he's not wearing a motorcycle helmet. And I said, if you're so scared, isn't that that's why you bailed on me last time, right? Um, even though you said you had problems with your phone? No, I told you the truth. I said, what happened again with your phone? Listen to this. The phone had no memory left from all the junk mail, Shiza, so I did a factory reset. I didn't have the password. So, he went from my phone got stolen to my phone got lost to I had to reset everything. He complete liar. You know what? You should send me a pic. Then it gets fun. Remember this picture he sent me last time? Well, on that note, he sends me another goofy one. <laughs> and then the next one. Ooh, wow. Don't mess with me. Stop. I said that first one is hilarious. Let's see that again, shall we? <laughs> uh, said, oh, you're also still rocking that beard. It has some advantages, lol. He said, I bet no one messes with you. This is September 1st, by the way. Not much, but there are a lot of Billy Get Bads everywhere. I'm out of here Friday night or Saturday morning, but besides that, I'm not working the next few afternoons if you want to go for a ride. I'm ready to meet for sure. I said, yes, I want to go for a ride. It's so bad. Good. Like the next few afternoons when? Like next week? I'd be I'd be down. I got some effed up sh shiza g going on at the moment, but I'm probably going to be on first shift by next week. Which would be better? I know what you're down for almost anything, ain't you? LOL. What's going on? You know, what's what's going on? And, and you know what? I'm down for two rides. I was living in my buddy's house, and he let it go into foreclosure, but he got someone... And they give you first, last, and security deposit to save it from foreclosure. Well, guess what happened to me? You're funny. But that stinks, you get kicked out? Like, what happened? Well, last summer, show my car extra money to have because of COVID. Oh, you met sold. My bad. Well, last summer, sold my car extra money to have because of COVID so I could get no wheels to get my Shiza until later. And I was working, so it means I took a few days off. Might have a job there no more. And yes, he kicked me out. Bye. Somebody he was. Almost 30 years, baby. F him. Well, not you, F him. <laughs> don't worry, I won't. I don't trust no one. Wow. That's right. That's perfect. Thank you for plugging my own stickers there. Brian. Same as Brian. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I didn't have to say anything then. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, while, while talking with him, Brian deleted his last name from his screen name. But it's too late, Brian. I know who you are. You probably will turn into the biggest trust I've ever had. <laughs> All right, that needs no more words other than me laughing. Said, you're the same. I know, I feel so connected with you, I swear. We are very similar, I think. Yeah, we both own motorcycles. <laughs> you definitely use a older vocabulary. I said, I get that from my mama. I was just gonna ask that. What's your mom like? Is she like someone that was a partier? Back in the day, but she chilled out. And I'm not talking about my mom. I'm talking about the persona's mom. Like, the girl I'm posing as that doesn't exist. I said, we're about to go to Meyer. I'll talk to you later. Okay. One of these times, you should have said, we're going to Meyer. Go there and walk by. The next day, September 2nd. Good morning. I said, hey, Brian. Yeah, we should meet up at Meyer sometime. When? How about next week after your trip? I replied. Okay, I thought about tomorrow before my trip, lol. So that would be a Friday. No school tomorrow, right? Das right. This was Labor Day weekend. I said it in German too. <laughs> but don't point it at Mr. Crowley, that doesn't look right. No, das not right, okay. Your German sucks. Would you say Skelly? 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the wrong gun. That would have not been good. Oops. Ooh, that's more like it. No. <laughs> what are you doing all day then? On my day off. And your mom works during the day? Yes, let's do it during the day. Do what? Tongue out. As I recall last time, he wanted to meet and he wanted to eat me out and he, he wanted me to sit on his beard. Remember, he, he said, I want a t-shirt that says, ride the beard. Well, I want a t-shirt that says, the chat log doesn't lie. Available at anxietywar.com. I said, I, I could just walk to Meyer tomorrow. Okay, only going to have to do, only thing I have to do, is pick up a vest and then take that to the sewing place to get my patch on. <laughs> for his little motor, motorcycle gang that he recently joined. Gangs are for losers. I said, all right, that's right. You're, you're going to be a, a hell's angel or what? Hell's Angela are not cool in Michigan. This state is ran by the outlaws. <laughs> it's so funny. I said I like the sound of that better, the outlaws. A close friend of mine is the president of your laws. He's the state legislator? Outlaws, not your. I'm not saying something's gonna happen, but you are somewhere you, you hang out that is secluded? You mean, do I know of a place somewhere that's secluded? That's what I mean. Yeah, I, I do. Under a bridge, a certain bridge, no one can see. I like secret spots. It's so dark and secluded, I said. Where is that? I told him where that secret area was. Got you. I'm so nervous, but hey, he's being cautious. Isn't that right, Mr. Crowley, huh? <coughs> oh, baby. That's my personal shirt, too, that white one that Skelly's wearing right now. Skelly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to strip you naked after this. Skelly's pretty thin, though, a little too thin for me. I like him skinny, but Skelly, I mean... She's not skin and bones, she's just the bones. And this predator's batch of the boner. <laughs> the bad part is exciting. You're a effing trouble, ain't you? Yeah? You just wanna be a naughty girl. Born to be wild, I replied. Do you even mess around with guys your age? Sometimes. I bet in your mind when you turn 18, you're gonna be with somebody older, aren't you? Yeah, you know it. I could tell. Well. Didn't you say to me, hopefully it was me the other day? I did? <laughs> I don't remember that. What do you think your mother would do when she found out? The English guy, come on. One language, that's all you need to know. I just said I can't wait to go on for a motorcycle ride. What are you going to wear? I'm not sure yet. Make sure you have at least shoes and not flip-flops. He's really looking out for me. <laughs> So what, you, you want to keep everything secret for a few years, and then when you turn 18, it's all good? Let's do that, please. How can you say that you don't even know me? Flattered. I'm blushing. <laughs> said, I can't believe I said this, but anyway, I said, I'm a sucker for old guys, I guess, and when they ride Harleys. <laughs> and your beard has got me, I, I followed up with. And you replied, I've heard younger girls say that they went for a ride on a Harley and the vibration make them have a orgasm. <laughs> no way, really? Yes. Dang, that'd be so hot. I'm getting hot. Speaking of it, hello, L, turn on the AC. I wonder if his motorcycle has AC. It will be a fairy tale if we did what I said. I said we will. I so can't wait to see you. <laughs> You're definitely a wild child. If you don't party, do you? Not really. Good girl. Don't be an idiot like I was. He said, oh, well, what, what did you do when you were my age? Everything. Oh, I did some wild shiza. You ride a motorcycle back then, too? Not very many fantasies I need to go fill for that way. Put it that way. I've been around motorcycles all of my life. Never had the urge to join the club. <laughs> the dudes I know were pretty cool, but somebody crosses them. They don't f around. So you want the fairy tale to happen today? Hey, not today. What if I told you to walk over to Meyer right now? Okay, I didn't reply. Gone. I said, well, no, but like what, what time tomorrow are you thinking, roughly? As soon as I hear from this lady with my vest, I can tell you. A good friend of mine in Texas, who has money, was graduating me. What? Who has, who has money was graduating me, joined the club, and she bought me a new leather vest. That's dope. Bought it online, had it sent to the house, and sent me a link to track it. UPS said they dropped it off yesterday afternoon on the porch. I'm like, you effing retard. You don't put it on the porch in my neighborhood on the west side. It's gone. 
West Side is not Best Side, I guess. I found two used ones out in Holland. I asked you to please meet me in the morning because I have to take it to the sewing shop and get my colors put on. That's the most important thing tomorrow because I couldn't show up to work that party all weekend without my stuff on my vest. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll probably get beat up or something, right? By the by the gangster motorcycle gang people, which is thin. So depending on how early you want to go, we could ride out to Holland if you want. How early we talking, Brian? Okay, she just messaged me and asked me what time it's convenient for me as you would meet me in Hudsonville. And he meant the girl, but they would meet in Hudsonville, but he says you. I just replied to her and said whatever is the earliest time for you. So as soon as he answers me back, I can tell you. Which he, he, said, he said she earlier, so now he's a he. It's okay, you know, it's gender neutral. So Brian is taking that into account so as to not assume gender is here. So I like that. Good. Good, Brian. <laughs> then right back to Grand Rapids to the sewing shop. So I said, you'd, you'd pick me up at the mirror near my house? I called this guy today, and of course he's Chinese, and he said the Chinese accent, you bring here, I sew for you. Yes. I said, we'll just play it by ear and whenever works best for tomorrow. I'm going for a ride right now. I haven't rode all day. Vice President lives here. And we're going to ride together tomorrow after he gets out of work. Kamala, ha Kamala Harris. Oh, no, I'm another vice president. He said, that, that sounds good. I'm, I'm going to sleep right now. And I never asked him, but he, he replied, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Such a bad boy. Night, night. Sleep tight, Brian. Sweet, wet dreams. Wow. So predators have said sweet dreams all the time. This guy, he's spicing it up. Look at that. You. <laughs> Friday, September 3rd, 2021, 8.19 in the morning. Good morning, I said. It's going to be kind of cold outside. Depending on when we meet today, I may have to bring my jacket. Yes, you will. I'm waiting on that lady, but it will start warming up around 10-ish. Then you will need a hoodie. All right, cool. I'm so excited. Cool. When are you going to be ready? When should I be? I mean, you seem pretty excited. If she doesn't call by, let's say, 10, I can get you and just head out that way. So the plan was him picking me up at Meyer to travel to the secret location under the bridge to have sex. Brian being very sketched out so as to not get caught. I said, I can't wait to hear your bike too. I love Harleys. Hear or feel. Remember what he said about that. Yeah, I heard young girls, you know, experience orgasms on the back of Harleys. <laughs> I said both. I, I wonder if, if, if I'll have one. Up to you, I guess. I think both of us are crazy. Bad to the bone. No, I didn't say boner. Haha, <laughs> I should have. But, do you wear sunglasses? Make sure you bring them if you do. <laughs> of course I wear sunglasses. Video camera sunglasses? Ah, isn't that awesome? When I read that, I'm like, dude, you can count on me. I'll have my sunglasses, all right? <laughs> You're going to be all dolled up, ain't you? Even underneath, I bet. You know it. Just about to shave. Oh, F, you just went there, didn't you? Yeah, I'm going to shave my armpits. Not what I was thinking. How dirty that mind. And, are you, and you are not afraid to tell it. I said I can be dirty, unlike that Harley. If that's the way you choose, I have no problem with it. Be yourself. I will be. I will be myself. 28-year-old man. Not a 15-year-old girl. <laughs> just message that lady. Yeah, when we go to Meyer now then? I'm just getting out of the bathroom. I got to run to McDonald's and get my kids breakfast. Wow, this was crazy to me, but it's no surprise. The last predator that I confronted after talking with him to, for years, um, well, one and a half years, um, he has kids as well. It's very sad. Some of these guys have families. It's terrible. Let me know when you're ready to take off. I hope you getting dialed up makes you look a little older because we have to ride to get my helmet for you. At 10.33 in the morning, I told him I'm ready. 10.58 in the morning. All right, the lady just called. So when it's putting my boots on, be out there in about 20 minutes. Just about to leave. I'm going to fit in just fine. Oh, yeah, just going to engage in small talk a little. <laughs> just to get in. Is that the predator? Nope. Oh, yeah. On my way right now. First, I need to stop to the post office first because... Jessica Watkins from Rossman, North Carolina, bought an Anxiety Wear t-shirt and Anxiety Wear stickers available at anxietywear.com. And also, Abigail France from Fort Wayne, Indiana, 
bought an Anxiety Wear shirt too, as well as some stickers from AnxietyWear.com. Thank you guys. <laughs> I'm actually gonna confront the predator first. So, do customers come first? For the most part, yes. <laughs> Second, sometimes when confronting the predator. Look at the nice dog. Oh yeah, the bat to the boner. Or bat to the bone, sorry. Every motorcycle now is suspect. <laughs> Now here's the thing, I already know what this guy's name is, I know where he lives, I know I know everything about him, so the license plate really isn't too critical, it's just, I guess, just his face, showing that he was there. So, I'm, th I'm thinking this should be easy, but who knows. Now, normally this would be an absolute nightmare, be just because it's, let's see, it's 11.09 um, in the morning, and look at all these people, you know? It, it, if the Predator was in a car, and especially if he didn't tell me what he was driving, this would be a nightmare. But because I know he'll be in a motorcycle, I mean, that really thins out my work, you know? Look at the German Shepherds! Hi! Hi! <laughs> so innocent. Oh my god, okay. He said he would be in, actually, a little over 20 minutes. He, uh, um gave me a new ETA. I am just going to kill some time and um, find a better parking spot to uh, see him coming in. If I have to, that'd be cool. Because it's a Harley, I imagine it's very loud, so I imagine I'm going to hear it before I see it. <laughs> Look, we have a Grand Rapids police officer, supervisor. Don't mind him, he's just getting something to eat. Oh yeah, ooh, he's good looking. Okay, okay, Zach, what am I doing? All right, focus here. That's right, not me, yes. <laughs> this is actually not good because the officer just picked up his lunch. He's a supervisor. <laughs> he just picked up his lunch and, um, and he's parking there, so. Predator said he would be here in 20 minutes and he's probably gonna come in here, so. Darn, fudge. Should I tell the officer to move? No, oh no. He's gonna see that and be like, what the heck? Oh, that's terrible. Fudge. Darn it. I also have to remind myself that this guy has been in trouble with the law too and charged with felonies for assaulting police officers. So, I'm prepared for him to get violent. Darn it. Eyes and ears open for the Harley. Any minute now. Alright, good. He's leaving. Motorcycle, nope, that's the wrong kind. I got this, I got this, buddy, I got this. <laughs> we don't need you over here. Oh, thank you. That would have totally freaked him out. <laughs> and yes, I know, my windshield is dirty. Not as dirty as this guy, though. <laughs> this is the worst part for me. It's the worst part, because I'm just waiting for him. I just have to find him, and I, I'm not too worried about that, but it's just sitting around and just thinking about it, you know? I don't like this part. <laughs> no, wrong motorcycle. Hey, hey, I hear a Harley. I think that's a Harley. Dude, that's him. That's him. Undercover. That's for sure him. Dude. <sighs> that's him. There he is. He's looking for me. See that? Gotta find out where he's going. <sighs> See, he's looking for me, 100%. Took a left. He's 
still looking for me. Oh, this is creepy, dude. He's looking for who he thinks to be an underage girl. Dude, that's crazy. All right, Zach. You got to make him settle down. You got to make him settle in there. Oh, he parked. He parked. He parked. He's talking to me right now, I bet. Okay. Recording. All right, let's do it. Nice bike. That's sick. What year is that? 2006. How many cc's is that? 1450. How many girls on the back seat do you think could have orgasms back there? 